Hi there. My name is George. If you know even a little AutoCAD, you can draw this object in both 2D and 3D in under 10 minutes. Let me show you how. That's the purpose of this tutorial. What you are seeing on the screen now is my 2D drawing and the solid model drawing of the object. And you can tell by the UCS icon in the lower left corner that we are now in paper space. With the erase command, I'm going to remove or erase the two viewports. Right now, the Layout 1 button is activated, but I want to get back into model space so I'm going to click on the model button which is in the lower left part of the screen. I'm going to type E enter for erase and then type ALL so as to erase everything on the model space screen. Now I shall uh, proceed to make the 2D drawing. I'm going to type L, enter, to produce a line, pick a point, move the mouse up, type 2, enter. I'm going to move the mouse to the right and type 3, enter. I'm going to move the mouse down, 2, enter. Move the mouse to the left, type C, to close. Now I'm going to type O, enter so as to offset a line. I'll type O enter, then 1 enter. I'll select the vertical line on the left and pick a point to the right. I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm going to type CO enter so as to copy the entire object. Make a window, select it, and drag it down about there. I'm going to use the offset command again, so I'll type O, enter. I'll type 1 again. I'll select from the front view on the bottom horizontal line and pick a point above it. And hit enter or escape to get the command line free once more. The next command, I think I'll use the fillet uh, with a radius of 0. So I'm going to type F, enter. R, enter. I notice that the radius is zero, so I'll accept it. Then I'll pick my first two lines, like that. Hit enter to repeat the command. Select another two lines. Hit enter to repeat the command one more time. Actually, the 2D drawing is complete. However, I've got to put on dimensions. I'll do that now. After I finish dimensioning the object, I created a new layer called Solid and made it current. And I gave it a different color, red. Now I'm going to use AutoCAD's Rectangle command and make two rectangles from the top view and move them to the right. It is the two red rectangles on the right which are going to be the basis for creation, creating the solid. At this point we're going to move into the southeast uh, isometric view and then extrude the two parts one inch in height. So I'm going to type EXT enter and select both red rectangles enter and type one enter. The next thing to do is to uh, uh, select the small solid and move it on top of the large solid. So I'm going to type M, enter, select the solid at that point, and put it up there. Now I'll use AutoCAD's union command, make a window, which will combine both uh, pieces together. 
this would seem to be an appropriate time to add some shading to the solid so I'll click on the visual styles toolbar and uh, add some color to it now I'm going to uh, select the top view or pad plan view as it's called at this point I'm going to click on the layout button so as to get back into paper space so that we can view uh, the drawing properly as you can see I had already created a couple of rectangular blocks that I can be used as a guide for when I create the two viewports therefore what I'll do now is to type M B I E W to create a viewport select one corner on the large viewport uh, and then I'll do the same hit enter to repeat the command and make another viewport actually you can have up to 15 viewports I believe on one drawing now I'm going to double click inside the small viewport and I'm going to switch to the southeast isometric view this will give me the opportunity to pan and then zoom to enlarge the object now I have to double click uh, outside the viewport to get back into paper space the next thing to do is to double uh, is to click on the outside of the large viewport then I'm going to click on the properties icon so that we can set a proper scale for the for, for that viewport so I go down to miscellaneous where it says standard scale click on the arrow I'm going to do this at one half scale then I'm going to double click inside the large viewport again it should be noted that even though you print a drawing in paper space at one to one uh, you may have portions of the drawing which want to be at a different scale in this case I would want the 2d drawing to be printed at half scale that's why I selected the one half all right so I double clicked inside the viewport now I can pan so as to hide the solid model in this viewport and once again I double click outside the viewport I should also mention that when I started the drawing I created a layer called viewports which is the color blue and what I'm going to do is to select these two viewports now and I'm going to go to the layer uh, go to the properties icon and change the layer from solid to viewports you'll notice that the two viewports will now look blue I'll hit escape the reason I did that was because I want to take those two viewport rectangles and freeze them so I'm going to once again select both uh, of the viewports go to the layer dialog box now I can freeze it the drawing although simple it is now complete uh, if you enjoyed this and you want more drawings to try for yourself you might search YouTube MD guide for more if you have any questions you can write me at ashcad at comcast.net and I want to thank you for watching